hello there this is um, a table I've been asked to fix and uh, if you look carefully you can see there's some marks in there and uh, if I turn it over uh, some of the legs are, are quite wobbly and so the first thing I've got to do is to remove these legs and glue these back on using a PVA glue, polyvinyl um, acetate glue. To actually clamp this, the way I'm going to clamp it is I'm going to clamp it to the table. Um, with four legs you need to make sure that it goes down to the surface. And I've got two sash cramps and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just clamp them in there like that down to the um, workmate underneath. I need to just open the jaw slightly wider. And then that will go on there like that. And I'll put one on the other side of the scrap piece of wood. Final job is looking underneath and wiping off the excess glue. There, and I'm happy with that. <coughs> managed to glue the legs back on nice and securely so they're all fixed on nice and firm. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to sand the top down and use my uh, sander. And uh, I'm going to start off, I've got a P80 grit on there. <laughs> start the polishing process and what I'm going to use first of all is just a clear um, acrylic varnish and that's just to seal the surface so that when I start putting the wax on afterwards um, it, it doesn't soak in too much and as you have to build up lots and lots of layers of wax and, that. And, um, and also it means that hopefully this will pr pr produce a bit of a barrier so we start to do it in a nice circular motion Making sure we get it well in. The wood, we don't want to miss any bits. And when it's finished, this will leave um, a bit of a, a bit of a rough surface on the wood. It won't be quite as smooth as it was. But what I should do then is I should get some wire wool and uh, and just cut it back a little bit so that it. Um, It'll probably have two coats of this. I'm only actually going to video one coat. This is right. Even just doing that, it's brought the colour out of that wood just a little bit more. 
and uh, there we go. And that's that. That's the first coat done. Well, this has been able to dry overnight, and so it's nice and hard. So what I'm doing now is just giving it a quick going over with some wire wool. This is fine wire wool, and that just takes off any any bits of dust or any slight ridges in the uh, the varnish that I've uh, might have got on there. It gives me a nice smooth finish. I've also done the rest of it as well, but I, I didn't bother videoing that. And now, I wish you could feel this because it, it's absolutely beautifully smooth. It really is. Now what I'm going to use is a, a wax polish. I've had this, you can see, for years, this tin. But uh, I'm just going to now start waxing the top of it. Nice circular motion. probably had this tin of wax polish for 40 years now I think I probably bought it when I was a, a student at university. Now I'm going to leave that to dry so I'm going to turn the video off while it's just drying. Okay so this has had two coats of wax and now I'm just doing the final polishing. Not going to give me a, a glossy finish this it's going to be more of a, a matte finish but one that feels lovely to touch. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Yeah. Now I'll probably give this a few more coats of uh, wax polish as well because uh, that will just enhance it even more. But I am pleased with that. Well pleased with that. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my little video on how to restore a bit of a tired looking coffee table oh that's so good yeah thank you